goes up that sends the Gold Cup runners on their way. They go towards the first of 22 fences, 18 runners. Lord Nurley on the inside, looks like trouble in the firing line with Seymour Business. Cypher Malta was the last to land over fence number one. They've got two circuits of the course in front of them, and it's the reigning Gold Cup winner. Looks like trouble that rises first with Seymour Business at the second. Lord Nurley is third in the green jacket on the inside then, followed by Shotgun Willie and Go Ballistic and Florida Pearl, very handy. After Florida Pearl, backer now is out wide. And then on the inside in yellow, Berajan from Fox Chapel King and shooting light wider. Best mate is next, followed by Comanche Court and Sackville's up the inside, followed through by Moscow Express. Towards the back of this still very early stage, Marlborough held up. Also at the back, Alexander Banquet, Cypher Malta and What's Up Boys. At the next, the first in the back straight, looks like Trouble. Jumps it boldly in the lead. In the noseband from Seymour Business, Lord Noley on the inside with Shotgun Willie close up, go ballistic. The red and white jacket, the horse of the white face out wide is Florida Pearl. Wider out is Bacchanal and then shooting light. Bayrajan is in the ruck in the yellow. And then Comanche Court with Alexander Banquet and Best Mate towards the outside. Jim Pullity as they jump the next. That's an open ditch, one or two ragged jumps there. What's up, boys? Was just about the last to land. The next a plain fence. And it looks like trouble. And Richard Johnson from Seymour Business in second place. And then Lord Noely, Florida Pearl, Shotgun Willie. And then Sackville on the inside of Go Ballistic and Fox Chapel King and Bay Rajan and Comanche Court as they approach the next. Big open ditch. Looks like trouble over safely. Cypher Malta, a slight mistake on the inside. Shooting Light has lost his position and is trailing along with What's Up Boys as they race towards the next plane fence going towards the top of the hill. Looks like trouble. There's so little racing in the last couple of years. He still leads by a couple of lengths or more to see more business. Then Lord Noely and Florida Pearl. Fox Chapel King and Shotgun Willie into about sixth place. Then best mate on the inside of Bayrajan as they head to this next tricky plane fence with a bit of a drop on the landing side. Looks like trouble jumping very well from Seymour Business. Most of the others negotiate it safely as they start down the hill. Shooting light is the back marker. Last but one is What's Up Boys. And looks like trouble from Seymour Business and Lord Noely. Shotgun Willie on the inside. Go Ballistic, best mate, Comanche Court. Leader jump sharply away to his right there. Looks like trouble. Just lost a bit of concentration going into that fence. Looking to the midfield runners, Bayrajan with Moscow Express. Marlborough held up behind horses. Sackville on the inside. Cypher Malta runs up against the fence. Then Alexander Banquet and shooting light. Looks like trouble went off the 92 favourite to win his second Gold Cup. And they've completed a circuit. Past their starting point then, and on towards the next plane fence. Seymour Business ranges up and rises just ahead, it looks like trouble. A mistake by Lord Noely when disputing third reminders for Shotgun Woolly. Fox Chapel King is right there in the black and white hoops. Florida Pearl still racing prominently and strongly, though didn't get very high at that plane fence. They're all still standing. Shooting light is absolutely last as they pass the stairs with a circuit to go. And it looks like trouble by a half length to see more business. Then Fox Chapel King and Lord Noly and Florida Pearl and Bay Rajan shooting light is pulling up. Back and Allen, best mate, lobbing along on the inside. Then Shotgun Willie is hard at work. Comanche Court is next. After Comanche Court is Marlborough. And then Sackville, Moscow Express, Cypher Malta, Go Ballistic, Alexander Banquet, and finally What's Up Boys shooting light having been pulled up passing the stands at the next plane fence. And it was still Seymour Business along with Looks Like Trouble. They come close together on the flat as they now run towards the water jump once again. Out wide Florida Pearl of Fox Chapel King. And then Lord Noely and Bayrajan at this water. And these are, are followed by Best Mate and also by Bacchanal in the pink colours beginning to get into the race now, Mick Fitzgerald. Lord Noely still on the inside in the green at this next open ditch. Barrajan was a slow jumper there. And now towards another plane fence, a reminder for Bacchanal, given the hurry up. Onto the next plane one, still looks like trouble and Seymour business. The two past Gold Cup winners are still showing their rivals the way here. They know which way round it goes here at Presbury Park. Best mate travelling very strongly on their heels now. Lord Noely, his stable companion on the inside as they jump this next big open ditch. Looks like trouble over in front. 
from Seymour Business. Shotgun Willie is tailing right off. Cypher Malta is also in trouble. Another plane fence, Richard Johnson, steals a half glance on the leader. Looks like trouble. He sees Seymour Business on his outside as they jump the next plane one, followed by Fox Chapel King, a best mate, and then Lord Nurley behind these. They've only got four to jump. Comanche Court and Florida Pearl are still right there, and Marlborough is beginning to get into the race as well. They run towards the fourth last then, back to this tricky fence. Looks like trouble and see more business as they take it. They're in the air together. Best mate over in third, still coasting along for Jim Cullity. Then Fox Chapel King and Comanche Court. Florida Pearl on the outside, followed by Lord Early, Marlborough, Sackville, Moscow Express, and Alexander Banquet. This is the third last fence in the Coach Shelton Gold Cup and old Seymour business. The winner in 99 took it first, but best mate looks a big threat on the inside. Looks like trouble in Comanche Court, still there with every chance. And they are clear of Fox Chapel King and Marlborough running round the final turn. Seymour business challenged now by Comanche Court, a pastime hurdle winner at this meeting. Cullity begins to nudge away on best mate. They've got two fences left to jump then, and Comanche Court takes over going the two out. Comanche Court rises first, dives at it. Seymour Business, best mate over on the inside. They've got one fence left to jump now. And it's best mate who takes over narrowly to Comanche Court. Here's the final fence. Best mate, he lands ahead. Two lengths to the good over Comanche Court. Then in third is Seymour Business. And they climb up the Cheltenham Hill. His best mate, the horse who promised so much. Comanche Court is fighting back in second place. But best mate is as good as What's up, boys? And Alexander Banquet. Moscow Express next. They were clear of Cypher Malta and Fox Chapel King. Then Lord Nowley and Florida. That was good enough. Away they jump for the Tote Cheltenham Gold Cup of 2003 and towards the first of 22 fences. Colonel Braxton in the firing line with Bay Rajan and the great Modulor. And then uh, over on the inside, Seymour Business as they landed over the first all safely over before salmon held up towards the back best mate is held up in about eighth or ninth place as they clear the second fence marlborough also out the back passing the stands for the first time the gray modular having his moment of glory here just ahead of seymour business then bay rajan in third three lengths colonel braxton with chives in a white sleeve jacket in fifth place wide then valley henry in a red cap then best mate from hazard collange and comanche court harbor pilot is next first gold and then truckers tavern with Marlborough on the inside before salmon held up well off the pace by timmy murphy together with eura gooden in the rear over the next the first in the back straight and before salmon is a faller before salmon is down there the novice the gamble hasn't paid off a faller at the third fence before salmon as they now go on towards the water jump modular lands just ahead of bay Rajan at the water the horse is up being held. Timmy Murphy is still on the ground. Meanwhile, they take an open ditch. Bay Rajan over just ahead of Modulor. Then Seymour Business in third place. Chives is four, followed by Colonel Braxton and Valley Henry at the next plane fence. Hazard Collange jumps well, so too best mate. And then behind these is Trucker's Tavern, Comanche Court over on the inside as they race towards another big open ditch. And then back in the field is first gold with Marlborough. Timmy Murphy is on his feet after that uh, fall from B4 Salmon. Mistake there by Harbour Pilot at the back, not jumping and pushed along. Eura Gooden is last. On to the next plane fence. Bay Rajan and Richard Johnson from Modulor. Then Seymour Business, the 1999 winner over in third. They are just ahead of Colonel Braxton in the dark blue jacket on the inside with Chives on the outside in fourth in that white cap. Valley Henry close up with these. Hazard Collange is wide, then Comanche Court, best mate, going along nicely in the midfield, fence at the top of the hill. They hands over ahead, and they all are safely over that. Marlborough was a bit sluggish at the back as they start down the hill on this first circuit. And on now to the next, B4 Salmon's rider, Timmy Murphy there, walking disconsolately back towards the enclosures. Over the next fence, and it was Bay Rajan from Seymour Business in second place. 
from Modulor and then Colonel Braxton, Chives and Hazard Collange on the outside. Valley Henry just in behind these. As they make this turn now towards the next two plane fences, we're still over a circuit to go in this Cheltenham Gold Cup. Bayrajan then with Seymour Business, their matching strides. Chives is third. Valley Henry in fourth place. Modulor over on the inside. Out wide is Hazard Collange. Best mate lies in about seventh place on the outside of Colonel Braxton and then Comanche Court. First gold is next from Harbour Pilot as they take the fence in front of the stands. Another mistake by Harbour Pilot. Truckers Tavern out the back. Marlborough is one from last and sitting last under the champion jockey is Euro Gooden. So away they go once again then and on now to fence number 13 and it's Bay Rajan whose bright white face showing out in front under Richard Johnson who won on Looks Like Trouble in 2000. Bay Rajan down the hill ahead of Seymour Business and Shire second and third. Valley Henry is fourth and then uh, Modulor on the inside. Hazard Collange best mate creeping just a little bit closer as they take this tricky fence at which first goal made a slight mistake but uh, they're all reasonably in touch. Euro Gooden would be the back marker would be about 15 to 20 lengths behind this leader. Bayrajan taking the water jump. Bayrajan overhead from Chives in second place. Plenty and with chances as they go towards another open ditch. Bayrajan by a couple of lengths to Chives drawing towards this one. The leader takes it well. Seymour Business over in third. Valley Henry on the inside. Best mate, the light blue sleeve jacket moving well under Jim Cullity. Hazard Collange is wide up him over the next plane fence. And at this one, Bayrajan got in a bit tight and Chives, best mate, stable companion, right on turn on landing. Chives, who's a grand national candidate, he could yet be a big Gold Cup candidate as they go towards the ditch again, going uphill on the far side. Chives and Bayrajan clear of Valley Henry. Best mate, Jim Cullity, looking confident in fourth place. Then Seymour Business, who's just feeling the pace now, the old warrior from Comanche Court getting a bit closer. And behind these, Hazard Collange is dropping out. Chives jumps that fence very well at the top of the hill and leads over by two or three lengths. Mistakes by Colonel Braxton towards the back also you're a good one and now they've got four fences left to jump a tricky fence going slightly down here at the top and it's Chives who's kicked five or six lengths clear. But now Valley Henry and Best Mate are both getting closer as they take this one. And it's Henry and tonight, one and two now. Chives, Best Mate is cantering in second place last year's winner. In third is Valley Henry with every chance down the hill. And there, Best Mate looming up. Richard Guest on the near side. Jim Cullity, he's full of horse as they go down towards three out. Chives, a big jump in the center. Valley Henry on the right, but here's Best Mate traveling like the good horse he is. And he's going to lead them turning for home back in fourth place is truckers tavern then bay rajan and comanche court and so 12 months on it's best mate again he turns for home bidding to win his second gold cup the first course to do so since les gargo in the early 70s and best mate by five or six lengths to valley henry the second last best mate a lovely jump there valley henry clambered through it in second then in third place is chives truckers tavern stays on but close into the final fence, it's best mate and Jim Cullity, he puts himself right over it, best mate by a dozen lengths, Truckers Tavern running a massive race into second place, then Valley Henry in third, but best mate, this beautiful horse, best mate's going to win back-to-back Cheltenham -back Gold Cup, he's strolling away with it, a top-half performance, best mate wins the Gold Cup, Truckers Tavern in second, tight for third between Valley Henry and the running on Harbour Pilot. Next home, Comanche Court from Bay Rajan and Chives. After these was Seymour Business. The ground was too lively for him. Euro Gooden next. Back in the field to Colonel Braxton. More this is the first to go on from Harbour Pilot in the red jacket and Irish Hazar on the outside. Keen leader follows these as they cross the first fence. Best mate landing in about fifth place on the outside of Sir Rembrandt. And then the real bandit followed next by Alexander Banquet, Truckers Tavern and Beeple Salmon rested at the rear of the field. Over the second and it was first First gold that led to Harbour Pilot as they pass the packed enclosures here at a feverish Presbury Park with two circuits of the course in front of them. They're quite well strung out already and it's Thierry Duman on first gold that's making the running to Harbour Pilot in second place. In third is Irish Hazard. 
And then a gap of about three or four lengths to Keen Leader, another two or three to Best Mate on the inside. The Real Bandit and Sir Rembrandt, and then Truckers Tab and Alexander Banquet and B47. B47 approaching the fence at which he departed last year. He's safely over this time. Heading now towards the water jump. And in close up, first gold in the headgear. Harbour Pilot, a half length down, clearing the water. Irish Hazar was over in the next position from Keen Leader. Best mate going right along the inside from the real bandit as now they approach a, a jumping test. This is an open ditch. First gold is the first to land there. Back in the field, Sir Rembrandt, Truckers Tavern, B4 Salmon, and Alexander Banquet is at the back. Heading towards the next now. They jump 22 in all. And first gold is safely over that one. That was the sixth. They now approach a left-hand turn going slightly uphill. And it's first gold by three or four lengths to Harbour Pilot. Irish Azara and Mick Fitzgerald in third place as they clear this next one. An open ditch. Best mate very close there with Keen Leader just preceding him. Irish Azar just drops back to fifth and a shake of the reins from Mick Fitzgerald. The real bandit and then a gap to Truckers Tavern and Sir Rembrandt and B47 and Alexander Banquet. Thierry Dumen really asked for a big jump from first gold and the French horse delivered in tremendous style as they reach the top of the hill. Swinging left-handed. The next fence is a tricky one. It's the fence where the real bandit fell in an earlier race here this season. It's slightly on the descent, a drop on the landing side, and first goal takes it in front. From Harbour Pilot in second place, Irish Hazard, then Keen Leader, followed by Best Mate in fifth place as they begin the run downhill towards another plane fence. The real bandit is behind these, and then Sir Rembrandt, Truckers Tavern, B47, and Alexander Banquet, a pretty useful horse, is completely tailed off at this relatively early stage. First goal may work be setting a very strong pace here as they run towards the turn rain softened ground as well it's first gold approaching the turn in then as they return to their starting point at the end of the first circuit best mate having gone off the 11 to 8 on favorite to win his third Cheltenham gold cup heading towards the next and first goal by four lengths to Harbour Pilot drawing towards it. Irish Hazar is over next. First goal is jumping for fun in the lead. Best mate along the inside. Then Keen Leader. They're bunching up a little bit behind the front pair. The real bandit is patiently ridden by Tony McCoy. They jump the next first goal again. Really stood off it there. An exhibition round from him so far. B4 Salmon is ridden very quietly towards the back by Timmy Murphy. He'll be looking to make ground on this final circuit. Truckers Tavern just behind him. Surrender just ahead of him and Alexander Banquet continues at the rear. So they swing into the back straight once again then and head for the next fence, the first down the back, it's the 13th down the hill and no real mistakes so far, first gold leads the way to Harbour Pilot, best mate on the inside and then Irish Hazard with Keen Leader wider out as they take this plane fence, the real bandit then Sir, Sir Rembrandt, Irish Hazard just has to be niggled along again, hitting another flat spot as B4 Salmon moves up and Irish Hazard, sharp reminders and losing ground as Truckers Tavern moves up on his outside during the water jump and Alexander Banquet continuing about 25 lengths behind them back towards this open ditch again and it's first goal that draws to it jumps it very cleanly once more from Harbour Pilot best mate goes up into third Irish Hazar has been pulled up before that ditch very disappointing then on the outside Sir Rembrandt improving with Keen Leader and then B4 Salmon behind these the real bandit as now they run left-handed towards the next open ditch they've got six fences left to jump from here and it's first gold by four lengths to Harbour Pilot. Best mate seems well poised on the inside. Harbour Pilot just jumping slightly across him there. So Rembrandt has improved in the red and yellow jacket. Goes third now. Out wide is Keen Leader. Then the real bandit and B4 Salmon. This is another plain fence. First gold. And uh, there a mistake by Sir Rembrandt on the outside in uh, a disputing second place of Harbour Pilot. Best mate in fourth under Jim Cullity. He's got about six lengths to make up on the French horse who continues to lead as they return to this tricky fence. It's four out and it's first goal that comes in to take it. This time he didn't take it quite so well. Harbour Pilot in second. Best mate and Sir Rembrandt on their heels as they start down the hill with three fences left to jump. It's first goal. Best mate on the right there. If with every chance, Harbour Pilot, Sir Rembrandt out wider. 
Here's three out, first goal from best mate up the inner. Then Harbour Pilots to Rembrandt, they're clear of B4 Salmon and the Real Bandit. They race towards the final turn, first goal, and beef, beef, best mate being held in there by Harbour Pilots. Didn't get a good run as they race for the turn, so Rembrandt takes off out wide. They got two fences left to jump. First goal is joined by Harbour Pilot. Best mate has got to get out of trouble. And now pulls wide at the front pair. Then Sir Rembrandt wider out. Before Sam is fifth. At the second half, best mate, great jump. And there he takes it off. And 38 years on, now best mate has his big chance to emulate Arkel. Heading down to the last, his best mate from Harbour Pilot. Best mate a half left to Harbour Pilot. Sir Rembrandt is back in third. Best mate, he's a length ahead of Harbour Pilot. Starting up the hill in familiar territory. First goal, the real bandit, a very tired horse. Keen leader is sprinting up the hill, but way too late. Then Alexander Banquet. Well, he's done it, he's done it. And Cheltenham is alive with the applause for this great horse, this brilliant horse, best mate.